and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing well and enjoying the nice sunny weather we seem to be having in the UK at the moment. So this is the final part of my colouring book collection. I have quite a pile here so I'm just going to make a start if that's okay. So first two are Angela Gonzalez. I have two of her colouring books. First one I have is Happy Cat's Sweet Colours. I, the thing I like about these colouring books is they open kind of landscape way. I mean, they're square, but they're not this way round, if that makes sense. So I quite like that. And I have done two in here. I did this one last month. Very happy ice cream page. I like colouring ice creams. Black Widow pencils. Lots of glitter in the background. Silky crayons. And then uh, this is the first one I did at Christmas when I got the book. Um, uh, glossy accents in the eyes, probably polychromos, and then some, uh, I think it's cosmic shimmer texture paste in the background. So yeah, that's the two I've done in Happy Cat's Sweet Colours. And then I've also got the Magical Colours of Fairies, and I've done one in this one, if I can find it. Mm. I know she's got a yellow dress, and that's about all I know. Here she is. Uh, so this was a Black Widow's. Um, there's some sparkliness on her top, sparkliness on the bee's wings, and some enchant. I think there's some stickers in the water as well. But that was Black Widow's as well, and then some mica powder, or mica powder in the background, which gives it a little bit of a shimmer. And that's the only one I've done in that one so far. So there are my two Angela Gonzalez books. Then I do have the first Coloriage Wild by Manuel Collin, and I haven't yet been brave enough to do one in here. But the images are just so pretty that I'm really scared of messing them up. The paper's really thick, and I think it would be really great for watercolour. So I am looking forward to experimenting. You do get double images in here, so I guess if I mess one up, it doesn't matter. Um, but if anyone's got one of these books and wants to do a body colour, or has, has this one and wants to do a body colour, let me know, because I'd love to get started in that one. Then I have Nightfall by Maria Trolle. This is the only one that I have. Actually, that's a lie. I have another one. Nightfall by Maria Trolle. I've not done many in here. I'm not drawn to her books, and I know that might be a sin to some people. This I did during the Queen's Jubilee last year. Uh, it's a Neo Colour 2 background and I think Black Widows as well and a little bit of Pentel Jewel Hybrid. Quite like the way that one turned out. I was in a very un autumnal mood. This was the first one I did. Quite like this one. Again, I think this is Black Widows, washi tape around the outside and I just finished it off. Um, this one I did and I really don't like. I hate the clouds in the background. I just don't, I don't think, I like the, the central bit, I just don't like the background at all. Um, and I think that's all, oh no, I've done this one as well. Rabbit page, I like that one, um, I like that one a lot. Um, but I'm not drawn, and I don't know why, but that's night for Maria Trolley. Then I've also got Drew Maurice by Maria Trolley, and I've done a couple in here. Um, I've done this page. Really like the way this one turned out. So detailed. Black Widow pencils and dual, Pentel Jewel Hybrid. And then I've also done uh, this one. This again was Black Widows. And then I also used some graphite tint on the jug. So you can just about make up. It's got like a purple lilac-y tinge. Quite like the way that one turned out. Like the, the blue flowers. Um, want to do more in here. I like this book over the nightfall. Um, so yeah. Oh, this mermaid. I need to look through that one. So that's Drew Reese by Maria Trolley. Then I have all my matchstick mouse books. So I have five of them and I'll just go through them. So I've got the summer colouring book and I haven't done any in here yet. Um, looking probably to do something in here next month, I would say. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I probably have another one down here. Matchstick mouse. I do. I've got another one down here. Then I have the floral matchstick mouse, and I've done a couple in here. Um, 
I've done this lovely cake page. I intend to colour with Everblend, Arteza Everblend markers with uh, Arteza Expert over the top. And then, you know, if I want some shimmer, then I add some stickles or some enchanted shimmer or any other spark sparkles that I have. So that's that one. This one I did after going to a uh, National Trust property. This is, I believe, the same thing. Arteza Everblend with Arteza Expert and then a little bit of watercolour in the background. This one I did as a buddy colour with my daughter. Same thing, Arteza Everblend, Arteza Expert. There's a Chromatec glitter gel pens on the blanket as well and some silver gel pen in the night sky. That's one that's a few I've done in there. Then I've got the Halloween colouring book. I've done a couple in here. I've done this one, the rather fabulous pumpkin page. Love that one. I think I really got into alcohol markers when I started doing this book. Then this one, um, I've got some Sakura glaze for the spider there. And I love this dark blue in the background against everything else. All of my matchstick mouse have different colour hats. That's how I decided to go about it. But she, the mouse, generally tends to be the same colour. Then I've got the Christmas one. And I've done a couple in here. This funky one, where she's delivering presents. Again, there's some enchanted shimmer there um, for the night sky, which I really, really like. Um, I've done this one. Lots and lots of stickles on this one, um, where she's knitting something. I've done this one with the candy cane. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that one. And then I did this one with the patchwork quilt. So I've done quite a few in the Christmas one. Then I've also got the autumn one, autumn colouring book, and I've done a few in here as well. I think this was the first one I ever got. So this was a left hand, non-dominant hand challenge when I was playing Coloropoly. Um, so that's why it all looks a bit of a mess. Um, but that's that one. Um, this is the first Matchstick Mouse page I ever did, and I experimented with a background, which I absolutely hated. Um... It's meant to look like rain in the background, but it looks more like a wooden tree. But, you know, it's fine. It happens. I won't be doing any more backgrounds like that. Then this one, I used some liquid pearls on the mushrooms here. And some more secure glaze for the spiders. I quite like that one. Then this one, when she's sleeping and having a cup of tea. Um, you get to see the inside of her house. I really like that one as well. And that's the awesome colouring book. And then I've got the springtime column book and I've done one for this month, which I will not show you. So that's one I've done. There's some glossy accents on the windows. Uh, that's the one I've done for this month. This was last month for the Easter or the Easter bonnet. And that's a stickles glitter gel in the background. Um, this one, I can't remember if I did this one. Oh, I think that might be a, a sneak peek of a... It is. That's also a completed page for this month. So that's that one. And then my final two books are Molly Harrison's Hunt, Big Fantasy Colouring Book, Great in Grayscale. And I've got book one and book two. And I've done a few in these. So I think this was a Halloween page. Um, I'm experimenting, I think, with what I'm using in these books. So this was a Derwent Drawing pencils that I use for the fairy and then I used a KJ design by Karen watercolour paint for the moon which is like a goldy colour and then I used distress oxide with some gold glitter in the background so that's that one so yeah I'm currently experimenting with what I use in these books as I'm not 100% so this one I believe was polychromos don't like this one at all um watercolour for the moon more watercolor on her cloak distress oxide and glitter for the background don't like that one as much as the other red one i did this one i really really love and i think it's just because of the color palette on the fairy it's just so limited i just went that's the only color i'm using and i like the fact the washi tape really sets it off as well um distress oxide with some glitter gel that's what i tend to do in these books it's a uh, distress ink and glitter gel on the top. Um, so that's that one. This I did with Stedler Ergosoft. I was having a real experimentation. 
don't like those in this book. And then this is some Nouveau Mousse, I think it's called Angel Eyes, in the background, which I quite like and I need to use more often. And then Chroma took gel pen around the outside. Um, da -da -da. Oh, that's that's one from Mermaid, so I'll show you that one. This is the first one I ever did. Really like this. I think this is Polychromos. This is a watercolour for the moon and for the bits coming out of her staff. Again, I like the limited colour palette. And then the background is Distress Ink in Vintage Photos, Black Soot and uh, Walnut Stain, I think. Uh, but that's that book. And then in book two, I've not done many in here either. That's one for this month, which I won't show you. Uh, but this one, I think, was for dragons. Um, and yeah, so I really wanted a contrast between the dragon and the fairy. Dragon is red and the fairy is like a repel blue turquoise. Again, could be silky crayons, I think, in the background for that one with some glitter on the top. Um, but really like that. So yeah, that is my completed... That is my colouring book collection, folks. That's the last part. So I hope you enjoyed that series. Um, and I have got some things in the pipeline. I'm going to be doing something on all things I use to make my pages glittery and shimmery. I'm going to be doing something on what I use to make my things metallic. And then I'm going to be doing an A to Z of colouring. So A, I might do a video on acrylic paint, B, I might do something on blending, etc, etc. So I'm kind of working on that and thinking of what content I might be doing for that. If you've got any suggestions for things you might like to see going future, and you know, if you like to do any colour alongs in any specific books, let me know. If you want any demos on how I'm doing backgrounds or anything like that, drop me a comment. Love to hear from you. Um, although always very inspired by people who leave comments and, and want to engage. So yeah. Love to hear from you guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.